Guys, how you doing today? It's your boy Marlon. Mm. And I'm here with another brand new video for y'all. How are you how are feeling today? So today, guys, we're gonna be discuss. I'm gonna get to it. Today, we're gonna be discussing um, bodybuilding and supplements and nutrition and your workout. All right. So, guys, if you're going to the gym and you're trying to gain muscle mass, it's more than just going into the gym, working out, and eating food. You have to be eating the right types of food, and you have to be and you have to be doing your workout real properly. So for the person who's going into the gym and trying to lose weight, his workout routine is going to be different from the person who's going into the gym and trying to gain muscle mass. You both have two different goals. So the person who's going in to, be, to lose weight, their workout, workout routine can be shorter than you that are going in to gain muscle mass. In order to develop good muscle mass, and um, it's going to take more than just running in and out of the gym. It's going to take a lot of concentrated movement in the gym. You have to have your workout down to a T. It requires focus and concentration and good squeeze in each repetition. And also to isolate the muscle and work it out to the best of your ability. A lot of time people go in the gym and they tend to do supersetting. Supersetting can be good. But you're going to benefit more from a superset if you're working out, uh, if you're doing superset and working out two muscle group that is going to benefit from each other. And I will explain why I said that to you. So if you're doing supersetting and you're supersetting by working out your chest muscle and your leg muscle, they're not benefiting each other. And one reason why I said that because in order to gain full, um, potential of gain full potential of the muscles ability to do what it can do in the gym you want as much mu um, blood to pump around in that muscle as possible while you're in the gym you want it to be full and burst with blood and that will help the muscle to expand and grow more so if you're working out your chest muscle and your leg muscle in a super setting every time you do your chest the blood rush towards the pectoral muscle and when you go back to go work out the leg muscle, the blood is going to start rushing back to the leg muscle. So you won't get to work each muscle group to its best potential. So I'd advise if you're doing supersetting to superset probably your back muscle and your chest muscle. Because when you're doing your pull down for your back, the blood doesn't have to travel from too far off the body, it's just back to back, front to back, right there. And then both muscle group will also be benefit from doing a superset like that. Or if you're doing um, back and you're doing your triceps, or if you're doing chest and biceps at the same time, then they both are benefiting from each other. So I'd recommend if you're doing a supersetting with your legs, I would recommend to probably do a calf muscle or something like that. Or if you're supersetting, you can do shoulders and traps at the same time. So those muscles are linked right next to each other. So you won't be robbing one muscle or even say depriving it of its full potential. But there's more to it than just going into the gym and lifting weight in order to develop a good physique. I'll explain to you more. So a lot of people don't understand that when you're going into the gym, the importance of taking supplements. A lot of people um, hate to take pills. I don't like taking pills either. But the only thing I will do use is my supplement because the reason why supplement is important in your diet, not just for people who are lifting weights or trying to gain muscle mass, but it's important for each and every individual in your daily lifestyle. Because when you, whatever you eat for your meals each day, your body is not getting all its mineral, mineral vitamin, and all of that that it needs to get like your zinc, your um, iron, and all of, so forth. But anyways, so for me, and I would recommend it for other people as well. For before, when I wake up in the morning, this is amino acid, and I'll explain to you why you should take them. 
the amino acid here, and I have 3,000 milligram here, and you can take up to six pills a day. You can do it if you really have a very active lifestyle. You can do three in the morning, three in the noon, and three in the, in the evening. But I only do three, just once a day. What the amino acid does, the amino acid will help your muscles to recover. And I'll put it close to the screen so you can see it. The amino acid, what it will do, it will help your muscles to recover faster after working out. It will also help your body to digest its protein, its protein that you intake. So that your body get the most of your protein and your body doesn't waste any of it. Because whatever your body doesn't digest, it will flush it out. So I would recommend the amino acid. You can use them in the capsule. Or you can use the powder form that you mix and you drink it. That one will rush to the body rail way faster because it's already processed. Which this one will take a longer time for your body to break it down. But I tend to use this one because I try the um, powder one and it stained my teeth, so I'll go with this one. The next thing you're gonna need for your supplement, you're also going to need some of this. Fish oil, omega-3. And what the fish oil does for you, and you can, they have some with less potency. This one is um, 1,400 grams, and it has 900 grams of omega-3. I tend to use the one that use one. I take one a day so I don't have to take two pills. There's some that you take can take two, but the potency of it is very lower than this one. So I go with this, and what this is good for is it'll help with your heart to keep you to have a healthy heart so you don't have any heart disease, heart attack, and whatnot. And it also helps to keep your good cholesterol to the level where it's supposed to be, but just not this only is gonna help you. There's several things that you have to use. It also helps for your brain function as well, for your eyes, your joints, and you want your joints to be lubricated so you don't get hurt and have pain in your joints and help your joints to recover a bit faster when you work out. And it's also help with your skin, give you nice, clean skin, prevent you also from getting um, acne and all of that. Here's another one that I take, and this one is the Mega Man Sports, if you can see it there. This is a multi-supplement, and this is good for you if you have a healthy, I mean an active lifestyle, especially if you're involved in sport, and even if you don't do sport and you're just an active person overall, you can take this one. And it has a lot of stuff in it. It has like um, your B12, vitamin B12, B6, it have your zinc, it have your iron, it have... Um, magnesium and all of that in there so you could only just take this one but I wouldn't recommend just to take this one that have everything because the potency in each each in this one for each one individual um, supplement inside of this is way lower because there's so much impact in just one pill so I'd recommend that you take if you can take them individually for all the vitamin you need, then just taking one multivitamin overall to cover everything, you'll get a better potency from doing them individually. And here's another one. This one is the vitamin B12. So this is your B, B12 vitamin. And this one is um, 1,000 milligram. And I only take one a day. And... Um, it's good for your skin, you know, you need a vitamin D um, for your body. It's good for your body overall. This will also help with your um, good cholesterol. You need vitamin B12 and you also need B6. Um, this one here is another vitamin, vitamin. Vitamin D, as you can see, vitamin D. And vitamin D here, it said um, it's good for your immune system. It's also good for your bone. And it said wellness. So it's good for your wellness um, overall for your whole physical health. Um, so if you live in a country where you're getting a lot of sun, you don't need too much of this one here in the winter. We don't get sun. Sometime for six months out of the year, you barely get any sun. It's cold. So, um, so I have to take this. If I don't get any, my skin get really pale, and I know that I'm low in vitamin. Um, 
D3. So during the summer, I'm pretty active and I do a lot of outdoor stuff with my house. So I will cut back and taking this one. You also need a pre-workout. You need a pre-workout, whichever you like, to help you to when you get into the gym. It gives you a lot of energy. A lot of energy, it'll boost your strength a little bit more than what it would be normally. So you can able to lift even heavier than you'd normally lift without having this at all. And that will help your muscle growth to even be better. It'll help you to put more mass on along with all your diet plan and everything. One of the next thing you also need, I'd recommend you to have avocado. I would I heat one every single day. I do it in the morning because a lot of times it's best to take in your natural fats in the morning. Be, so it will your body will use it throughout the day, then taking it late in the evening and then have your body store fat. So I'd go with avocado. One of the next thing I recommend also is your oatmeal. This is good. Good carb right here. And um I use the quick cook one minute oatmeal and I have some oatmeal seven days a week. Every day I do my oatmeal. One of the next thing I'd recommend to you also for your natural fat is some walnut. And this, these are unroasted walnut. And the walnut will help you for your natural fat and you can have some of it each day. It doesn't we need to heat too much. Uh, probably about an handful of it or half a cup would be good for you. And then the um, the almond and get the unroasted almond. Don't get the roasted one because all this natural fat will be dried out from the heat. But it used to roast it, so I'd go with the natural unroasted almond. And then you also want to do some eggs. So I do a lot of eggs. I buy it in a box where I get seven dozen every week, and I go through about seven and a half dozen eggs every week, just for me. My wife doesn't eat any of these a vegetarian and um, I eat 15 eggs a day three different meals of eggs and I don't just do the egg whites um, the egg is a really good protein for your body so I do five in the morning five in the noon and five in the evening because your body will consume more protein from heating your eggs it'll consume your body will absorb probably about uh, 85 to 95 percent of your egg your body will absorb it because it's really soft it and your body will be able to digest it way faster the next one that your body will digest real quick also is your fish you want to um, do a lot of fish in your diet your body will absorb more of that and then your chicken and do um do your lean chicken breasts i would recommend for you i do not use any oil whatsoever to prepare my meals the only oil I use is um, your virgin coconut oil and I'll show you that real quick here your virgin coconut oil and it's really good for you it's really healthy fat as well for your body because your body needs certain amount of fat in it to keep it function so on and in order for you not to look um, malnourished your body needs some fat healthy fat I'm talking about so guys that's it today I hope you enjoy the video I hope you learned something from it and if you're trying to gain some muscle mass take my advice get in the gym get it on and also remember when you get in the gym don't train your ego it's good to have a healthy ego but don't train the ego too much when you get in the gym make sure you train the body and you'll come out with result and don't hurt yourself stay safe don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Peace out.